Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, if you followed my last video, I was just talking about the oil filter O-ring. Um, I got that replaced, sprayed it off a brake clean, started it up, uh, no more leaks obviously, uh, simple stuff. Um, but in this video too, um, I installed a new crankcase breather hose. I just got it zip tied up, but it's right here. Um, like I said, it comes up as high as the air box. So no water's going into the oil, uh, into your main engine uh, oil without first, basically you'd have to tilt on its side. Uh, your uh, breather is right underneath the air filter over here. So um, it'd have to tilt to its side and then be on its side long enough to kind of be able to loop where it's not sitting straight up. Otherwise the uh, intake is actually gonna fill up first. Uh, most of the time you can just pull the spark plug, dump it out and run it for a little bit, put the spark plug back in, clean it up and it'll run and your engine oil is fine. Um, but one of the issues that I noticed that I had a lot of times is whenever you run this style hose um, like this, the hard plastic right here always gets in the way and it touches all of my hoses. So you really wanna cut it back as far as you can um, to make sure that it's out of the way of the breather hose um, and doesn't touch that. Another helpful hint uh, to doing this is the heat shield is pretty sharp and it's pretty hot. I've actually already ran the motor, uh, checked the oil level and everything like that, um, if I can show you guys. But this um, heat shield right here, I need to move my hand, this is just my phone. Um, this heat shield right here, you can actually clamp and kind of crimp it some so it comes in closer. Um, it'll give you more room for your heater hose. This is half inch heater hose. Um, it'll give you more room for your heater hose um, to not rub up against it and cut it or anything like that. And same thing goes for this. Um, I've actually trimmed mine back a lot. It would normally come maybe out to here. Um, let me try to get, there it goes. So I've, I've trimmed it back, you know, because it would come way up, whatever, and hit like right here. So I've cut all this off to make room for it. Uh, just a little helpful hint. I know a lot of you guys watch all my videos, so um, if you want the main part of the video, you can always go back to the crankcase breather mod. Um, it's just half-inch heater hose. Literally costs you like seven, eight dollars to do this mod, um, and I love it. Swear by it. Uh, main part of this video, though, uh, now that I just wasted two and a half minutes, is my style of snorkel. Um, a lot of people want to copy it know how I did it, how it's ran. From the air box, um, I use inch and a half pipe. I know some people say use two inch. Um, I won't mention any names, but uh, I guarantee you, same gear reduction setup, uh, same wheels and tires, uh, about the same weight rider and everything like that. There is zero difference, horsepower difference, um, acceleration, everything, I would tell you, between the half inch, I mean inch and a half uh, PVC, and the two inch um, 90 horsepower can ams have an intake breather uh, roughly an inch and a half wide so um, to me going to two inches overkill this fits really nicely um, high up you can run it the way that you want it to um, all it is is a um, two and a half inch I mean two and a half inch it's a one and a half inch slip coupler um, or pipe and then slip coupler to turn and then another uh, inch and a half, that's a 22.5 uh, PVC coupler right there. And then you probably have close to three foot of um, inch and a half PVC pipe. And I'll scoot back so you guys can see it. Just shoot it straight up. You wanna aim for about right here, right in this little thing, as high up as you can. It's really nice and easy. Uh, keeps it up tight, to zip tight here. Um, and then also be careful if man if I can show you guys this there's a tab Let me turn this brightness up. There's a tab right there and sometimes it'll hit it um, Whenever you're running your pipe up, but that's how you want to do it. It's about a three-foot section of pipe There you go And then that continues From there um, up into here you're gonna go on the outside of your shock tower just like if you know We used to have the high lifter kits just like you would um run it up but instead of running it up just take a right right around the shock tower that's still a, um a 90 
um, inch and a half coupler. It's an inch and a half pipe, and then a 90 inch and a half up um, to a, uh, I think that's a male to female coupler from inch and a half to two inch up there um, where the black hose is. I mean, the black slip coupler is two inch coupler right there. And then as you come up, you can see from right here, it angles up like 22.5, and then you want to go backwards with it the other way, 22.5. Every time you go in a coupler, you got to use the two inch coupler and then a small piece of uh, two inch PVC pipe, and then another coupler all the way up, and then as high as you want it to go. Um, that riser is called a uh, Warrior riser, that's a two inch. Warrior riser, obviously, because I'm using two-inch pipe. Um, they make them an inch and a half, two-inch, and three-inch, I believe. Uh, you can get them from snorkelyouratv.com, uh, but that's how I run them. Um, I've done a vent line video before on how my vent lines are set up. Uh, that's also in the how-to section on my playlist. So if you want to reference back the videos, um, you can do it that way. Uh, but that's pretty much it, guys.